Reports say that Sudan's military has forced President Omar al-Bashir to step down, ending 30 years of rule. State media have said the country's armed forces will be making, quote, an important announcement. Witnesses are also saying that soldiers raided the, officer, the offices of a group linked to al-Bashir's ruling party. We have this exclusive footage from the Capitol cartoon where tens of thousands of uh, people have been rallying outside the Sudanese military headquarters. It's the sixth straight day of demonstrations calling for Bashir's resignation. Clashes between protesters and security forces have left dozens of people dead. Meanwhile, with me in the studio is one of our journalists who's been following this story very closely for us, uh, DW reporter Aya Ibrahim. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, uh, what can you tell us about what's happening there in Khartoum at the moment? We're getting lots of signals coming in, including from uh, that journalist there who's been sending us video and talking to us, but the line keeps going down as soon as we get him on air. What are you hearing? Um, my impression is that it's actually quite unclear what's going on on the ground. We heard earlier, uh, early this morning, that the military would be making a statement to the people. And since then, I've been uh, getting messages and videos and pictures from uh, contacts on the ground nonstop, saying that there, there's a general atmosphere of jubilation and happiness. Uh, uh, on the streets of uh, Khartoum, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, are now marching to the headquarters of the military that we, uh, that we saw earlier uh, uh, in, our, uh, in our reporting. They see this as the crowning jewel to four months of protest. Uh, that, that, has, uh, that was demanding the, uh, the ouster of uh, President Omar al-Bashir. There are reports that he has resigned, that these reports are yet to be confirmed. The fact that, uh, uh, that it has taken so long for the military to actually make the statement might indicate that there is perhaps some disagreement as to what comes next, um, uh, but uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, but so far, uh, 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 just scenes of uh, happiness and jubilation on the streets of Khartoum so far. Okay, so we're still waiting on the announcement that the military have already uh, trailed. They, they've said be prepared for an announcement that is still to come, and we still haven't got, got uh, confirmation on the resignation of the president. Uh, we're getting conflicting reports about that. Um, can you tell us something about the background here, Aya? What is behind these protests that we're seeing there on the streets that may have already led to the president's resignation? Sure. I mean, these protests have are, have not been something that happened only a couple of days ago. These protests started back in, in, in December of 2018. The triggering reason for it was a steep rise in bread prices. But very, very soon afterwards, the chance asking for uh, for bread turned into cha chance asking for a complete re regime, cha uh, regime change. You started hearing in the footage and in the pictures coming out of Khartoum some of uh, the slogans that, uh, that are very reminiscent of the so-called Arab Spring in 2011, calling for a complete... Uh, uh, regime change. The protests have been uh, on and off since then, uh, and it seems that in the past couple of days, uh, um, um, they have somehow been uh, exacerbated partially, maybe because of the very iconic picture of the Sudanese woman chanting on top of the car that uh, went viral a couple of days ago. Maybe that gave impetus to the uh, uh, to the movement. Uh, but that is that is the background uh, uh, background for that. But it uh, remains to be seen uh, what happens with uh, with the protests. Who are the demonstrators? Who's actually leading this demonstration? Is there a, is there a figurehead? Uh, is it uh, are, is this spontaneous? Can you tell us more about uh, the demonstrators themselves? It's been so far uh, quite a leaderless revolution. There haven't been sort of prominent figures associated with this uh, movement and uh, and its protests. It's been made up mostly of of, of, of young people. Um, my impression is that you know you have to understand the population of Sudan is an incredibly uh, young uh, population. Uh, when I was there in 2017. It appeared to be an, an extremely uh, um, desperate and uh, and um, desperate and sort of dreamy a dreamy population uh, hoping for a better future I remember one uh, protester that I talked to in December over the phone said you know we live in a country where most of the people have never known a president other than Omar al-Bashir so uh, it seemed to be uh, uh, the protesters seem to be largely made up of young people looking for a change in their country and looking for um, for a, a better future and um, whether that will happen with the takeover, a possible takeover of a transitional military council remains to be seen. Well, that's a big question. Uh, with Bashir having been in power for 30 years with the military's backing, uh, what can we expect, assuming that the military are actually in control now, what can we expect what, that them to do in this situation, given their close alliance with uh, the, the, it would appear, old regime now? 
Well, one has to remember that Omar al-Bashir his, himself, he's not, he's not an originally civilian president. He himself came in, in, into power in 1989 with a, a military coup. His entire 30-year rule has been marred by uh, famine, poverty, and conflict. Um, he, uh, he's, the, he's the first sitting president in the world to be indicted by the ICC for alleged crimes uh, in Darfur. Under his rule, we saw the separation of uh, the independence of, uh, of South Sudan. And these are, uh, these are all things that are etched in the memories uh, of, uh, of the young people. Now, of course, what happened with the, with the military now is something that's very reminiscent, again, with things that have happened in the Arab Spring, that at some point, um, uh, you know, this is a it's somewhat of a military regime, and at some point, the military perhaps realizes that supporting its figure is no longer uh, uh, beneficial for it, that the people have just simply had enough. Uh, uh, and uh, it remains to be seen if the military does take over and they do form a transitional government, will they pass on power then to a civilian government? Mm. Or will we see a regime similar to, uh, see a, pardon, a scenario similar to what happened uh, in Egypt, uh, uh, for example, in 2011, and then again, uh, three, years, uh, three years later, where a popular uprising is uh, then taken over by, by the military, a very powerful institution, and then never somehow goes back uh, to the people on the ground. Egypt, of course, being one of the countries that uh, surrounds Sudan. Uh, Sudan is Africa's third largest country, has a significant population, but what's happening there right now is being very closely watched. Uh, what sort of signals does this development in Sudan send to its neighbors? Of course, this is being closely watched by uh, uh, regimes in the region and the West, for that matter, in Rwanda, uh, in Uganda, in African countries, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in Algeria, where just a couple of weeks ago we saw an eerily similar scenario unfold after weeks of protest by young people. The military uh, 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 stepped in, calling for the president uh, uh, to step down. So, of course, this is being uh, very closely watched in the region uh, by, uh, uh, by the Egyptian, by the government in Egypt as well. Where, um, uh, where this also happened in, in, in 2013, uh, 2014. So, of course, this, uh, how this happens and uh, what, uh, what kind of situation on the ground unfolds after this is going to be, is going to be something that's closely watched by, uh, by other countries in the region as well, and the West. Aya, thank you so much for your analysis. Uh, DW News reporter Aya Ibrahim.